of Galilee in Nazareth. He had a message for a young woman who was promised in marriage to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Come on, and the angel said unto her, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord has greatly blessed you. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's message. For she wondered what his words meant. The angel said unto her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God has dealt graciously with you. You will become pregnant and bear a son. You shall name him Jesus. He will be great. And call the Son of the Most High God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And then the whole church said, Amen. Amen. The subject that we shall endeavor to use this morning with God's help and with your prayers. Expect a message from God. Expect a message from God. As it is our custom, we invite you to look at your neighbor. Let's say it together. Come on. Expect a message from God. One more time. Come on. Expect a message from God. God is still speaking to you and to me today. In the midst of our emergencies, mm -hmm. at times when we need him most, yeah. God speaks to us yeah. in that small, still voice. Yes, sir. He says, be still, my child, and know that I am God. He's still speaking today. Yes. Take off your shoes for the ground that you stand on is holy ground. He's still speaking today. Yes. I am who I am. I am Beside me there is no other. Before the mountains were brought forth, uh, ever thou formed the world and the earth from everlasting to everlasting, thou art it God. God is still speaking to you and me today. Expect a message from God. Do you want to hear a message from God? We must have a message from God. We're praying for a message from God. The psalmist must have heard a message from the Lord. And he said, yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadows of death, I shall feel no evil, Come on. for thou art with me. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah must have heard the message from God when he said, who shall I send it. Who will go for us? And I answered, Lord, here am I. Send me. 
Job must have heard the message from God when he lost everything that he had. He said, the Lord give and the Lord taketh away blessings. Be the name of the Lord. And though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. All the days of my appointed times, I'm going to wait until the change comes. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Reverend. Expect a message yes, from the Lord. Have you ever received a message unexpectedly? Come on, Reverend. One of my favorite television shows used to be Candid Camera. You know, Candid Camera, you would have people to talk with other people and ask them questions and get them to come into their own. And once their true behavior was revealed, the person would say, smile, you're on Candid Camera. And the song would say, when you least expect it, you're related. It's no lucky day. Smile, you're on candy camera. Sometimes God surprises us in his message unto us. And God speaks to us through his angels. And he gives us a message of love, of hope of peace yeah. and joy. Come on, yeah. He gives us a message, a, a, a promise, a praise and comfort. Oh. That's the message that he gave to Mary. Mm -hmm. How do we respond to the message of God? Make it play, yeah. Are you excited? Come on now. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you joyous when you hear the message from God? Yeah. Are you bewildered? Are you perplexed? Or are you indifferent? Or, or do you wonder at Mary what his words really mean? Yeah. Here in the text, the gospel of John tells us that God had a message for a young girl named Mary. All right. And John tells us how Mary responded to that gospel and that word from the Lord. Look at God's plan. It was in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy that God sent an angel Gabriel to a town called Galilee, Nazareth, amen. And, 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 and he had a message for a young girl named Mary. Notice here that the Gospel of Luke is the only gospel out of the four Gospels that shows the transition of the birth of John and the birth of Jesus Christ. It's the only Gospel that shows Elizabeth and Mary. Elizabeth, a relative of Mary, Elizabeth bore a son named John in her old age. Mary bore a son named Jesus in her young, young age. And Elizabeth had her son six months before Jesus was born. Do you see the master plan of God? God had already envisioned that John would be the trailblazer for Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. God always puts someone in our path to go before us oh, to make our way clear. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. God put someone in our past to help us. God put someone in our past to lead us in the right direction. Yes. Yes. God has someone going before you today. Yes, Just like he had John going before Jesus. Now look at what God said to Mary. Peace be with you. Oh, isn't that a message that we need to hear today? <laughs> That's the message that, has, that God has for you and me today. Let there be peace today. Yeah. Peace in your homes. Peace in your palace. Peace in your neighborhood. Peace with one another. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad I serve God yeah, who believes in peace. Yeah. He said you can have peace even in your troubled times. Yes, peace wear down when you're in the valleys. You can have peace up on the mountains. I'm glad I serve a God of peace. Apostle yeah. Paul said one day, he said, have no anxiety about anything, but in everything, through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, let your request be known to God and the peace of God who passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind and the knowledge and the love of God when all around me burdens fall. I can have peace with my God. Peace! It is well. It is well with my soul. And then the angel says, the Lord is with you. Church, isn't it good to know that God is with us? Yes. What you're going through in your life right now, you're not going through it by yourself. But you're wrestling with your circumstance, your situation, your condition. You're not going through. Matter of fact, the battle is not yours. Yeah. Woo! It belongs to the Lord. And I'm glad I serve a God who will help you fight your battle. Yeah. If I just hold my peace, yes, and let the Lord fight my battle. Victory shall be mine. Glory. Then God said, You shall be greatly blessed. Isn't that a message that we need to hear today? You will be greatly How many believe? How many are blessed today? Amen. See, I'm not just blessed. Amen. I'm greatly blessed. You see, I like that greatly blessing. Amen. I don't want it just a good blessing. I just don't want an ordinary blessing. I want that greatly blessed. Amen. I'm greatly blessed. I'm a child of God. Ain't that a blessing? He woke me up this morning. Ain't that a blessing? Started me on my way. Ain't that a blessing? They put food on my table. Yeah, man. They put money in my pocket. A job. Yeah, we are blessed. Somebody ought to thank God for the blessings that he's bestowed upon me. All that I have belong to him. Amen. All my help comes from the Lord. Have I got a witness in here? Look at how now Mary responded yes, sir. to the message from God. First, Miss Mary believed. Yes, sir. She believed the message. When God speaks to you, you ought to believe it. Yes, because if God said it, it's going to come to pass. Yes, if God said it, it's going to be true. If God said it, amen, it is right because he said it. She had faith. And then she was bewildered and wondered what the words of this angel was saying to her. And children, it's all right to wonder. It's all right not to know exactly what God is saying to you. 
it, it, it's all right just not to know. Because God will eventually reveal unto you and make it clear to you what he really means. Is that right? It's, it's all right not to know. Amen. You're not a dummy because you don't know. And because you, Ezekiel didn't understand that and have the answer to the question that God asked him one day when he set him in the midst of a valley of dry bones. God said to him, can these bones, can they live again? Ezekiel didn't know. He said, Lord, thou know it. I don't know. Yeah. And God gave him the answer. That's what happened to Mary. Listen to this. Do not be afraid, Mary. And see, when you, you're walking with the Lord, you don't have to be afraid of anything. Have I got a witness here? God is with you. I'm not afraid. I can go, I can go into a wall. Amen. I don't have to have my sick brothers with me. I can walk anywhere and say the word of David. Yeah, go on. Through the valley of the shadows of death. And then he says, the Lord has dealt graciously unto you. Yes, sir. God has been good to us. That's what that means. That means God has been good to us. Is that right? How many know the Lord has been good to you? And when God has been good to you, the least we could do is say, thank you, sir. Have I got a witness right here? God is a good God. A great God. And he can do anything but fail. The psalmist said one day, all taste. Ooh, the Lord. And see, is there anybody ever got a taste of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Is anybody got a taste of it? Amen. I don't want you to eat him up. Amen. Some folks just meet you, just eat him up. Is that right? He said, just taste him. And you will see. And finally, in this message that God gave to Mary, listen to what he told her. He gave her something good. He says, now, you're going to become pregnant and you're going to bear a son. Mm -hmm. And you shall name him Jesus. Uh -huh. He's going to be great. And be called the son of the most high God. We serve a great Savior. Yeah. We serve a great Christ. Yeah. Amen. He is the Savior of the world. Isn't he great? I said, isn't he great? I'm talking about Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's under his name. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord and Savior. I, I, I'm glad I serve a great Savior. Yeah. Amen. He's great because he saved my life one day. I'm glad that he's in the world. And he's still delivering. He's still saving me today. Do you know me? Yeah. I said, do you know me? Yeah. I'm talking about Mary's little baby. Yeah. Moses rod and staff. Ezekiel's wheel in the middle of a wheel. Heaven battle like in a time of trust. I'm talking about Jesus. That wonderful counselor and a prince of peace. Jesus. That bridge over from what? Jesus. The lilies of the valley. The bright and morning star. Jesus. I rock in a weary land, my shelter in a time of strong Jesus. My hope and hope is gone. Expect a message from God. Let's give the Lord a big round of applause. The doors of the church are open right now. There may be one today. You heard. The message from God. Mm -hmm. A message of love, hope, peace, and joy. The message mm -hmm. of promise, of praise, and comfort. If you were here today and accept that message, now would be a mighty good time to come and give your life unto the Lord. As we stand and sing, if you're here today and you want to join the letter of Christian experience, now was a mighty good time. I love you, Lord, today.
ചെലവിടുന്നത് She like the little kid where, you know, the father gave him a quarter to put in church. Amen. And he okay, had a time. nipple left over from last Sunday. He put his nipple in and kept his quarter. <laughs> Lord 
Jesus. Amen. All right, go ahead and bless it. Amen. Y'all go ahead and bless it. Let us pray. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we give you back just a portion of what you give to us, let it be used for your lifting of your kingdom here on earth. Let those who have to give and those who have not to give, but desire their heart. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Okay, this offering now is for a wrap, and Amen. then we'll do the uh, original. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let us all stand. for doing what they do every Sunday and that is to take up our offering and the church say amen. 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 All right. We got that taken care of and now we just about ready to go home and eat what we have on the stove or what you got at the restaurant. Amen. 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 Our acolytes are coming and they're growing taller and taller. Amen. Say amen church. Amen. Those are the dedicated lungs. Amen.